going to show you how I revamp this wig, taking it from this right here to this which you see if you want to see how i treat this wig and style it please keep on watching this video let's get right into it first thing you notice is that the hair is sort of tangled and the closure area is not looking uniform so i'm going to start out by coloring the closure area with this color 1b dye this is going to even out the color on the closure because most times when we bleach the knots on the lace you might overdo it so when you overdo it you need to go in with the dye and recolor the hair around the closure area to give it a more even look after coloring the hair on the closure area i'm going in with my hairbrush to brush through the wig and after brushing through the wig i'm going to start washing the hair I'm putting water all over the hair right now and next i'm going to use my tresemme clean and replenish shampoo to wash the hair i just applied the shampoo all over the hair and i dipped it into the water and because of the hair dye that is on the closure area you're going to notice that the water that is going to come out is going to be very dirty and that is completely normal when you dye hair the hair dye is going to make the water look very dirty and it might not be foamy like it should pour the water away and pour new water and reapply the product shampoo massage the shampoo all through your wig and wash the wig very well after washing doing this particular round of washing i'm going to pour the water away and wash it because i noticed that the wig is really dirty so the water is not foaming like i would like it to because of course the wig is very dirty if you're getting value from this video please make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed this is a total wash and you can see that the water is becoming cleaner and it's become it's beginning to foam unlike how it was before so i'm just going to keep dipping the wig into the water and i'm going to rinse it off right now after i finish washing it and after rinsing the wig with clean water what i'm going to do next is to apply my conditioner and the conditioner i'm using is from Tresemme. it's a 24 hours volumizing conditioner I'm going to apply this conditioner all over the hair from the upper to the tip of the hair, all over the entire hair and also brush through the hair. And I'm going to also apply my keratin treatment, which is going to make the hair softer, more smooth and shiny. After applying the keratin treatment all over the hair, I'm going to apply my castor oil. It's just something I love to do to strengthen the strands of my hair extensions, the wig, of course. So I apply the castor oil all over the hair, massage it in and brush through the wig after brushing through the wig i let the product sit on the hair stay like really get into all the strands of the hair i leave it on the hair for about 30 to two hours from 30 minutes to two hours is enough time and after that i rinse off all of the product from the wig after rinsing off the product from the wig uh, it dry the wig and think that you can try as much as possible to rinse out as much product as you can because you don't want the hair to feel like it's too heavy because the conditioner is weighing the strands of the hair down the hair the strands of the hair has absorbed the nutrient you need to absorb, absorb from the product so just rinse it off really well and air dry the hair don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're getting value out of it and please subscribe to my channel if you're not here subscribe yes so this is how the hair looks right now very shiny very healthy very clean the closure area is looking on point and this is what the hair looks like after i air dried it now it's time to style our wig i put it on a mannequin head of course you need to have a mannequin head with canvas head to work on and i'm applying my moroccan argan oil serum to the hair the small section where i which I cut out at the bottom part. I'm going to spray this heat protectant spray all over the hair. You need to invest in getting a good hair serum. I prefer argan oil serum. And you also need to invest in getting heat protectant spray. There are a wide range of products out there in the market. So what I'm doing right now is using my Cloud9 hair straightener to straighten the hair. Because I want this hair to be very sleek and straight. I'm working in very small sections to straighten the hair from one side to the other side. 
and this is what i'm going to do until i've straightened the entire hair all over the wig i'm going to cut the hair in small sections as i finish working on one side of the hair and i'm pleased with how straight the hair looks i'm going to take out more hair from the upper part which i haven't styled and continue and continue to style the hair until i achieve the desired look that i want for that section of the hair and i'll proceed to work on another section don't forget the key products that i use when i'm styling the hair is my american argan oil serum and my heat protectant spray and of course the star of the show is the cloud nine hair straightener which is very very hot i put it on the highest heat on the setting in the highest heat and i walk through small strands of the hair straightening the hair and i comb through it Take small sections of it and I really walk the hair straightener through the strands of the hair to ensure that the hair is as sleek and straight as it possibly can. So guys, if you've been watching my videos and you love me, you want to follow me on social media, please follow me on my Instagram page. It's my it's the same name as my YouTube name, which is Linda Izimedodo. I'm also on TikTok, Linda Izimedodo. If you want to buy wigs from me, you can follow my business page on Instagram at ENL Beauty Hair. I custom make wig for my clients. When I say I custom make wig for my clients, by custom made, what I mean is let's say that your head size is not the regular head size because you know most people tend to just make more wigs in the medium size which is like a size 22 inch let's say your head is like a 21 inch or a 24 inch if you tell me that oh my head size is 24 inch i have to look for a wig cap that's going to size your head and make your wigs to make the wig that you want to fit you let's say you want the wig to be in a particular style a particular color I make the wig to fit exactly what you've described. Not like all these wigs that are just factory made and everything is the same size. Everything is styled the same way. I will custom make the wig to fit you exactly how you want it in a color that you want. In your preferred color, you can send me a color of the a color inspiration or like a picture that you want me to recreate and i will do it for you so that is basically what it means to have a wig custom made because you make it to fit the client exactly how the client wants it and exactly how it suits the client's features like the size of the client's head okay guys so back to styling the hair you can see i'm still working with my hair straightener and the small comb to just comb through the hair and straighten the hair as as straight as it i possibly can get it this is a very repetitive process you can see i've already gone halfway on in styling this week i'm going to keep on doing this until i get to the closure area and then i'm going to apply some other products to help me in the process of styling this week so please just keep on watching if you need something to keep you company while you're learning with me on youtube and grab your popcorn if you need water or a bottle of drink or whatever it is you want just grab something to keep you company while you learn and it's not just about you then you need to also go out there and practice what you're learning from my videos and you know make money from it at least help yourself save money from it yeah so guys i'm just still styling the hair and after i'm done with the bottom part of the hair i'm going to move towards the upper part of the hair just keep on watching me while while i do what i do and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and go to my website to purchase my ebooks how to start your hair business my other ebook which is hair extensions and how to test its quality if you're somebody who is new in the hair industry or you've been in the hair industry and you just want to just get knowledge because it's very important that as we keep on doing the work that we do it's very important that we keep on getting knowledge because no one is a master of it all. There's definitely going to be something that someone can teach you. So if you can invest in getting knowledge to just help you be a better hairstylist, help you be a better press be a better wig wearer let's say you're just an average girl that just likes to wear wig and you just want to really know more about hair these books these books can really help you to you know to be able to know what's know, know what is really out there in here in the hair industry you know the various type of hairs that are out out there and how to best take care of your hair how to best source your hair extensions how to do better in your hair business and i, I basically share stories that really helped me and how i got started into the hair business so i'm working on the hair around the closure area right now i already applied my hair serum sprayed my heat protectant spray and i'm cutting the hair around the back of the closure area and i'm using my hair straightener to straighten that hair 
and i'm also going to work on the hair on the sides of the closure area to make sure that it's very sleek flat and it's really smooth so after i cut out the hair i comb through it and i'm using my hair straight now to straighten the hair and flatten it out you can always go back in and be straighten the hair if you feel like you haven't achieved the sleekness that you desire keep on working it until you are pleased with the results that you have achieved we are getting towards the end of this video guys you can see that this hair has really transformed from what it was before to what it is right now the beauty of any hair that you have even your natural hair is on how you style it so knowing how to style your wigs is really really important it's one thing for you to invest in getting really expensive hair it's another thing for you to invest in getting the knowledge that you need to maintain those wigs so you need to share my videos with your friends that spend a lot of money on their wigs but they don't know how to maintain those wigs they'll wear that they are hair that they buy for two thousand dollars three thousand dollars and it's going to be looking like the fifty dollar wig share my videos with them it's going to really help them improve how they look especially now that the economy is becoming things are becoming more expensive and you probably just want to get to do things yourself to save costs share my videos with them it really help them so this is the finished look of how the wig turned out if you like how this hair came out looking please give the video a thumbs up and please make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video with somebody remember be bold have courage live a positive life and pursue any dream that you have bye guys